Welcome back to my channel, the new Sephiroth G14 2021 generation, so just hitting the market about two months ago, is in my opinion the best currently available compact 14 inch Windows laptop for content creators. And in this video I'm going to show how to upgrade this powerhouse to an 8TB SSD, which gives you the necessary capacity and storage to actually get your work done and store it and archive it and have it available at all times. And now let's kick off the video. Step number one is to insert a USB drive into your laptop and choose that USB drive. In my case is drive D. I go to format and then I choose the NTFS file system and then I want to format that drive. And uh, on the format options you can here choose whether you want to have quick format. I unbox this and then start it. I get a warning that everything will be erased on the USB stick. So be sure there's nothing on it what you later on would need and then actually your process can start here and the drive is formatted. Next go to the Windows start menu, type recovery. The computer finds immediately recovery drive, which is the program you need to set up your backup files. It gives you an explanation what the program does. So just hit next here and then it prepares the USB stick to become your recovery drive for backup. And then it confirms again whether the drive D is what you want, which is my USB stick and that it needs at least 16 gigabytes and that everything will be deleted on that stick if you actually continue the process. Then you click next and you see here the message creating the recovery drive. So for this part of the procedure, you're already done. Step number three means to open the laptop. And for this, I typically find some towel or soft surface where I can place the laptop in order to make sure it doesn't get any scratches on the case. And I also make sure that I have all tools available which I might need in the course of the process. And third, I need to make sure I have no electrostatic charge on my body so that I don't harm the electric circuits and components of the laptop when I open it and replace the SSD. And then maybe a last caveat or disclaimer, which is very important. If you want to follow my example, you need to know what you're doing. And if you're not experienced in doing it, better go to, you know, a subject matter expert who can help you in replacing your SSD. And the reason is that if you do something wrong or if you harm components of your computer, your warranty will be lost and I will not be responsible for that. Everything you are doing here, if you want to follow my example, is at your own risk. So let's open the laptop now. There are lots of screws to unscrew, but they are all standard. And also make sure that you order them in a way around your laptop or close to you that you later find which screw is actually coming in which screw hole because the screws have different lengths and it's better to remember where these belong to. When all screws are unscrewed, open the laptop, but don't apply too much force. Do it gentle in order to make sure that you don't break any components. The anatomy of laptops from inside is very much similar across different brands. So here at the top, we have the cooling system with two fans. At the bottom, we have a huge battery pack and I can confirm already right now that battery capacity on the Sephiroth is very good. And then here we have actually the slot for your RAM, so your memory. And on the left hand side of it, we have the slot for the SSD, which we are going to replace in the course of the video. As said before, make sure you have no electrostatic charge on your body. Then I remove the protection sticker on top of the SSD card. And then here we see the SSD card. So make sure you don't waste that sticker because you want to reassemble it later on. There is one screw which basically holds the SSD firmly in the card slot. And of course we have to unscrew this, remove the screw and then gently remove the SSD from the card slot and have a look at what was inside and shipped with the laptop. My configuration out of the box was a one terabyte SSD. And in the next minutes we replaced this by an eight terabyte SSD in order to have enough capacity for my content creation and all of my work. When taking out the original SSD card, I overlooked some foam material, which actually belongs to the slot here at the bottom of the laptop case where it says SSD. So I had to place it back where it belonged to. And then we have this buffer of the SSD card towards the bottom of the laptop case. The next step is to get the new SSD card out of the box in the way it was shipped. So we take out the MP400 and again, my advice is be gentle, 
don't apply too much force. They sometimes sit firmly in that packaging here. And also again, make sure you don't have electrostatic charging on your body. And then we need to insert this into the SD card slot. Of course, it's compatible here and we need to make sure that it sits firmly. The last step then is to take that screw again and in this way make sure that the SSD card is firmly mounted with that screw in place. And then of course we also apply back this protective sticker here. And you see how I'm doing this here. Again, be gentle, don't apply too much force. And then I think the surgery is basically done. So we can take the bottom cover and basically screw it back to the laptop case and make sure the laptop is closed and all screws get back to the place where they belong to. Since the laptop is now back in one piece, it's time to insert the recovery stick into the USB slot and starting to boot the laptop. Keep pushing the escape key right from scratch when you actually push the switch on or the power button and then it will come back to the boot menu. And after we see the Cephas logo here, we see basically a dialogue coming up and the dialogue asks me if I want to boot from this USB stick, which now was inserted in the USB slot. After confirming this, we get the spinning circle, which means the laptop is booting from the USB stick. And then we come into the normal recovery dialogue. First of all, we have to choose our language. In my case is English. So I confirm this, then we have to choose a keyboard layout. My laptop has a Swiss German keyboard layout. So I have to scroll down until I find it. That takes a moment. Then we go into recovery from a drive and choose that at an option. And then I have a choice whether I just want to remove my files or whether I fully want to clean the drive. Out of routine, I always go to fully clean the drive. And then basically the recovery process kicks in. And you see here how the laptop gets prepared from the USB stick for the recovery. So you confirm this and then you see here recovering this PC, 1% of progress. This typically takes a while, but finally it will be done. If you want to confirm whether our surgery was successful, we can go into the system data. And then I find here 7,452 gigabyte which actually is the eight terabyte as it was written on the package. A common misunderstanding and question I sometimes get in these kind of procedures is, why does it say 7,452 gigabyte and not 8,000 gigabyte if on the package it said eight terabyte? Let's quickly do the math. If a manufacturer of an SSD talks about eight terabyte, what they actually mean are eight trillion bytes. And the computer is based on the binary number system so we have to divide the 8 trillion bytes by 1024 and not by 1000 to end up at 7.8 billion kilobytes. And 7.8 billion kilobytes have to be divided again by 1024 to end up at 7.6 million megabytes. The last step is then to divide the 7.6 million megabytes by 1024 again and then we end up at 7452 gigabytes which is what we get here from the system data after we inserted a new ssd card if this tutorial was helpful for you and you liked the video please don't forget to drop me a thumbs up stay tuned on my channel there's always more to come stay safe and healthy and of course peace out